All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do today is I'll go over how you can actually you, you know, change the field of view for your camera in a third-person setting uh, using the scroll wheel on the mouse. So just to show you what I'm talking about, we have our default third-person camera, but when you scroll up, it zooms in, and when you scroll down, it zooms back out, and you can keep doing that. And it has constraints where you can't zoom like too far out and too far in. And then if you hit the Q key, it resets the default field of view back to normal. And then you can continue doing this as much as you want. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so again, I have a third person template, just default settings, everything. Uh, and what we have to do is everything is going to be done in the My Character Blueprint. So here we have the mouse wheel down, uh, where we increase the field of view and then the mouse wheel up where we decrease the field of view and then up here we set a default field of view just so we can press Q and set the default field of view back to where it was at uh, so let's go ahead and we'll start from scratch let's delete everything and uh, just before we get started there are two three variables actually that we got to create here uh, so the default field of view uh, that's going to be created at our event um, begin play node, so we can delete that right now. We'll make we'll remake it later. Uh, but the minimum field of view, we're going to set that to 50, and the maximum field of view, we're going to make that 110. And those are both float variables. And again, one's called maximum field of view, the other one is called the minimum field of view. So let's first go into our begin play here. So right click event begin play. And what we need to do here, uh, one of the actual uh, components is the camera. So the follow camera right here. And one of the variables within the camera is going to be the field of view. So let's control, left click, drag the follow camera variable, and then pull out from it here, uh, get field of view. And we're doing this at the begin play because as soon as you play the game, the default uh, field of view is going to be set, and I believe it's set to 90. That way, if we ever need to change it, and reset it, we'll have it as a default variable here. So all we have to do at this point is pull out from the field of view, promote that to variable, and we'll name that uh, default field of view. And just plug that up. And that part's done. And what we can do real quick is the uh, resetting logic. So I use the letter Q can be anything you want on your keyboard, but whenever the Q is pressed, what we're going to go ahead and do is get the follow camera. We're going to get its field of view. Actually, no, we're not going to get the field of view. We're going to actually set the field of view. And we're going to set that to default field of view. So get that, plug that up. and then connect it to the pressed of the queue. That way, you know, whatever the field of view is when you're scrolling up or down, no matter what happens, uh, you'll set it back to the default that we just set it to. So now we can do the main logic here. So we'll start with the wheel down. So basically, you're scrolling out. So that's where we're going to add uh, float values to uh, the camera's field of view. Uh, so first what we need to do is do a quick comparison uh, just to uh, make sure that when we're scrolling in or out, we're not going so far out that it crashes our game because that can happen. So what we're going to do is grab our maximum field of view. And then we're gonna do a we're gonna get the follow camera. We're gonna get its field of view. And we're gonna ask if the camera's current field of view is that greater than or equal to our maximum field of view. So that's our condition, that's our question. And then we're gonna branch. That's our condition. So if it's true, 
that the current field of view is greater than or equal to the maximum field of view. What we're going to do is get the follow camera. We're going to set its field of view. We're going to set that to maximum field of view. So that's true. If that's true, so if we're scrolling, and we see that the field of view is bigger than the maximum field of view, we're just going to stop it. We're going to set it to the maximum field of view. Uh, but if it's not the case, that's when we're going to do. We're going to grab the follow camera and field of view, and we can add it. Uh, well, before it was at five, but we can do it by two just for a different number. And then we can grab the follow camera and set field of view. We can delete the maximum field of view component of that. And we can connect that up and then hook it up to the false. So that logic's done. So let's compile. Let's go and test this out. So we did mouse wheel down. So we're zooming out. And now we can't zoom out past this point. Uh, but we can zoom in because we don't have the logic for that set up. But if we go back in, zoom out, hit Q, resets it, and we can zoom out again, reset it. Uh, so we know that much is working. So now we need to do the mouse wheel up logic. And the beauty of this is that we can just copy and paste this entire thing, deselect the mouse wheel down. Uh, event and then paste this. We may need to move things around just to give, us, give ourselves some room. But we can hook this up to the mouse wheel up. Now we need to change a few things. Uh, first is the comparison. Uh, we need to go ahead and make this a less than or equal to. And instead of it being the maximum field of view, we're going to do the minimum field of view. So we're going to ask, hey, is our current field of view less than or equal to our minimum? And if so, if it is, then we're going to set it to the minimum field of view instead of the maximum right now. So we'll replace that with the minimum field of view. And then right here, instead of adding 2, we're going to subtract 2. So float minus float. Make that a 2. Plug that up. And then make sure your condition's plugged up as well. And that's it. So let's play this one more time. So now we can zoom in, and then we can hit Q, it resets it, we can zoom in again, we can zoom out, so all that's working. And we can do it while we're moving. So that's it for this tutorial. So uh, it was a relatively quick one again, uh, but it's definitely something I thought was uh, fun to learn when, I, when I've been working on some projects here. So I hope you guys learned a lot as well. So I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you did learn a lot, so if you did enjoy the content, definitely click on me or click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the Devon Level Design channel. Um, and if you want to watch some more videos, I got some videos on my right here uh, for more Unreal Engine 4 tutorials and blueprint examples, things like that. Uh, so again, if you did enjoy it, like the video, comment, let me know what you think, see if you have any changes or anything you suggest that I do next. Uh, but for now, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!